Okay, so by now you should have watched the video prior to this one that talks about the mechanics of how you take the derivative of both sides with respect to time using implicit differentiation. Okay, so that's going to give you a foundation for working these future word problems out. So in that problem, one before, they went ahead and they told you all the information, they listed it for you. However, this time we have to pull that information ourselves from the problem. So it's always good before you begin the problem, read through it first and then make a list of the information that's been given and also what information they want you to find. So let's do that with this problem. A point is moving along the graph of, all right, so they give us an uh, equation. We're going to use that layer. That's the one that we're going to be taking the derivative of with respect to time. Now, in other problems in this section, it may not be so nice. They may not just give you one like that. You have to come up with that on your own. So they're going to give you extra information. Maybe you're going to be doing an area or a volume, and, they'll, and by that, you'll know which formula to use based on the information they're telling you in the problem. Maybe you might even have to use Pythagorean theorem, but in this case, they gave us the equation so we can go ahead and move on because we know we're going to use that later. Okay, so it's moving along that graph such that the point's movement in the x direction is 2. We have to identify what that is. Now normally you're going to be given some units here and there's no units given in this problem, but normally the units will tell you uh, what's happening. Maybe it'll give you like centimeters per second or something like that and that's going to tell you it's a type of rate. In this case there's no units given, but we know that this is going to be dx dt is what they're uh, telling us. dx dt is 2. That's basically a rate, that's the movement in the x direction is 2. We also notice that x is equal to 2 here, so I know that I can, that's another variable that's given. But now, let's identify what it is they want you to solve for here. Find how fast the point is moving in the y direction. Okay, so movement in the y direction, that is dy dt, that's that variable. This is the unknown, it's the one they want you to solve, uh, solve for here. So now we're going to use our uh, equation right here, y equals 1 over 1 plus x squared. We're going to do both derivative of both sides with respect to time. So we're going to do dy dt on the left hand side. Now, this one right here, what I'm going to do is this right here 1 over 1 plus x squared, I'm going to write that as 1 plus x squared to negative 1 power. Why do I want to do that? Because otherwise, if I don't do that, I'll have to use quotient rule when I take the derivative of this side. But instead, if I write it this way, that raised to negative 1, then I can just do chain rule. So then what I do is the negative 1 is going to come down. Okay, so I have negative and I have 1 plus x squared. And then subtract one from that power, I get negative two, and then you want to multiply it by the derivative of the inside. Derivative of one is zero. Now, when you do the x squared, you have to use chain on that also. The two is going to come down, you have x subtract one, and then you have dx dt here on the end. So that was the, we did the derivative of the outside to get two x, but then you have to multiply it by derivative of the inside, that's dx dt. Now that we have this complete, we can rewrite this. So dx or dy dt is going to be on top, you have a negative and a 2x, so negative 2x in the bottom, 1 plus x squared squared, and then I'll have multiply that by uh, dx dt. So this is the step you want to get to always in these problems. You want to take the derivative of both sides, and once you get to that point, then you're just going to plug in all the information that's given to get the answer. We're solving for dy dt, okay, so that's what we're going to ultimately get a numerical answer for. And you have negative 2 times x, x is negative 2. I have negative 2 I'll put in down here. And then the end, dx dt, that's given as 2. So now I just need to work this problem out. If we go across the top, you're going to get positive 8, three twos multiply together. On the bottom, 1 plus 4 is 5 squared will give you 25. There's no units given in this problem, which means that you can just write your answer as that. The answer to this whole problem is 8 over 25.